In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Prepare yourselves, celebrate your sacred mysteries. Let's call to mind our sins, be truly sorry for them. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi refining them like gold or like silver, and they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your hands and see your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God, my Savior. Lift up your hands and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Please stand. <laughs> King 
of all nations and keystones of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy towards her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, no, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he was the child to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately, his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart and saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Nandito kayo ngayon, marami kayo sa harap ng birhen para the Holy Mass. Kasi naniniwala tayong lahat na the Holy Mass is the highest form of prayer. Kung may namatay, magpamisa. Kung may bagong bata, may bagong anak, magpamisa. Kung mayroong rason, whatever reason to celebrate, magpamisa. Gawa ang Mass is the highest form of prayer. Kaya, pag nagsisimba tayo, come on time. Do not be late. Let us not insult the Lord coming late. Eh tayo kung oras ng pagkain, nasa oras, dumarating ka agad. Holy Mass, out of respect for the Lord, never be late. Ang Pinoy kasi, sanay dumating ng atrasado. Pag hindi late ang Pinoy, hindi na Pinoy yan. Hindi na. Kaya, ayos-ayosin natin. Mabuti nga nakapagsimba kayo ngayon. Ilang araw na kayo nagsisimba. Sana, tuloy-tuloy na. Hindi lang kung Pasko. Sana, gagawin nyo kaagad. Sana magpakatino na para hindi masayang ang grasya ng Pasko. At ang Pasko ay isang beses lang sa isang taon. 
Incarnation, yan ang tawag sa misteryo na nangyari sa Pasko. Incarnation is the highest form of mystery that we will celebrate. Incarnation. Pinanganak ang Diyos sa harap natin para tayo'y kaagad maniwala na pag sinabi niya, mangyayari. Iyan ang ating tandaan. Sinabi ng ni Lord, And I said, it will be done. And it will be done. Let us now pray for everyone, lalo na mga namatay, hindi nakasama natin sa Pasko. At always remember, tayo'y kasunod doon sa mga umalis. Tayo ay susunod yon. Life is short. Maigsi ang buhay. Huwag waldas. Huwag, pag, huwag pagiray-giray ang buhay. Mag-ayos. Gawa ng hindi natin alam. Tatawagin tayo sa roll call ng Diyos. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. The birth of John was a decisive step in the fulfillment of God's promise to send the Messiah. Mindful of the Lord's faithfulness, let us pray for the grace to treasure this moral quality in our lives. We respond, Lord, make us faithful like you. Lord, make us faithful like you, that the church, under the guidance of the Holy Father, may be ever more faithful to her mission to be the instrument of salvation for all mankind. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you. That all the priests and religious may be shining examples of faithfulness to their vows to live the radical demands of the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you. That husbands and wives may bring about the unity and harmony of their families through their mutual faithfulness. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you. That all teachers, catechists, and youth leaders may honor their commitment to give their very best for the proper formation for, of all the children and young people entrusted to their care let us pray lord make us faithful like you that all those who work to promote peace and justice in the world may reap the fruit of their efforts let us pray lord make us faithful like you let us pray in silence for our personal intentions lord make us faithful like you pagdasal po natin ang mga namatay na ating kadugo Huwag natin silang kalimutan. Lord, enkindle in us a greater desire to see the fulfillment of your promise and the determination to imitate you who are the faithful one who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness you have this bread to offer, which you have given human hands you made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. But the midst of his water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be Lord God of all creation, your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, 
will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. We please, we sacrifice, we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Please stand. <laughs> May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift him up to Let's the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer, exalted in his praise, and so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy. holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like did you fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> Similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving thanks took the chalice once more giving thanks, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partake of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, the Archbishop, Fidelis, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection will have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Magbatian po tayo. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Please stand. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those who have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dear, dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord give you courage and strength to overcome all difficulties of life. Amen. May he protect you from all dangers and keep you faithful to your duties. Amen. May he lead you to the path of holiness and peace. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Para dasal tayo sa mga may sakit. Sakit sa katawan, sakit sa kaluluwa, at ayaw mga umpisal. God, our mighty Father, bear blessing, give us strength, support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Freedom from illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in this your knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries and her other religious articles be blessed made holy in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.